Hello, wonderful world of YouTube. I am fan growing in this video. It is your girl Slimster Gown. We're coming at you, or I am coming at you with an unboxing video. Inside this lovely, lovely box is the collaboration between Estabrook and Ferris Wheel Press. This was released, I'm going to go ahead and say like a few months ago, when it originally launched. I was like, no, it's like a lot really expensive for what you're getting. Or at least I thought it was, to be honest. So I couldn't like justify buying it. But I used some of my uh, points and I was able to get this beautiful thing. So we're going to go ahead and snap her open. And this is just the receipt. Thank you, Mike. Always a pleasure purchasing from the nest. Definitely packaged super well. The box, I must say, is bigger than I had originally expected it to be. That's a big box. It's like, see? And we're going to go ahead and open it. So, as I had mentioned before, originally I was not intending to buy this pen mostly due to the price of it but <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie i was a little bit happy when it sold out the first round then they came out with the, like a second round of releases in some stores and it kept popping up on my for you page and i was just like you know what it's my birthday that's coming up in a couple of weeks i'm just gonna get this for myself and i don't regret it i'm so excited oh my goodness oh my goodness Now, this packaging to me is very reminiscent of the Ferris wheel brush pens where they come like in the, a nice, like very firm box. You have what I would call a royal blue um, background color with gold foil as the detailing where you have Ferris wheel press, Estabrook, a little nice star right here, and it's the Fairy Tales collaboration. It's like a very nice soft cushion. Here, I'm gonna guess is like a velvet. A velvet? Would that be considered velvet or suede material? Don't know, but it's very soft. And we're gonna go ahead and open it. Oh, magnetic closure. Oh my god, you guys, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Cannot. Okay, so as I was saying, it had originally sold out and then some stores brought it back kind of like a second run of it. And I had some points that I was going to be able to cash in at Vanessa. So I went ahead and cashed them in and I was like, I'm going to get this pen. Now, I really love the detailing that went into the packaging. Ferris Will Press never disappoints in the packaging. Ferris Will Press pen, not Ferris Will Press pens, Esther Book pens, because it's kind of like in the SD style stunning stunning pen so what you get in this pen box is a very nice quote from john f kennedy we choose to go to the moon um this is kind of like in theme with the pen which is called the nebulous pen um inspired by the resilience and perseverance of the human ability to turn our wildest fantasies into reality the historic pen brand esther book and canadian heritage company ferris will press come together to create an iconic duo the Nebulous Plume Esty Pen and the Nebulous Blue Fairy Tale Ink. We invite you to join our multicolored intergalactic journey as we tra traverse time and space through a rainbow of six magnificent, magnificent jewel tones. Blast off with us as we shoot for the moon and beyond to the furthest reaches of our infinite universe. Ferris will press for Estherbrook. Oh, suck out. This is a box that you know you're not going to let you know throw away. This is the beautiful pen and no two pens look 100% alike. So you might like certain pens, you might see more blue than you do the red, more of the little green than you do the red. 
I'm actually very happy that I got a pen that's a little bit more red. I feel like it just pops against the colors a little bit more. You have the, I'm going to guess, the Esserbrook authentication card, or is it just like a little letter? Oh, scan to activate your pen. I'll do that right after this. But... And then, of course, you have the ink that came with the pen. If I can take it out of there. And lucky for me, I can. Oh, look at that shimmer. We're going to swatch this at the end of the video. So do not worry, you guys. I will show you a close-up of this. Right now, we're going to go ahead and pay attention to the pen. Now, the pen itself has the fairy tale. Um, I guess would this be considered be embossing? Or like the detailing of the pen name on the little clasp that you get here. The nib I went with was a stub nib, as you guys might may or may not know. I have been on a stub nib journey and I look forward to testing this one out. The lovely part about this pen, and I'm gonna try to zoom you guys in a little bit more. Let me see. is all the thought that went into it like the nib itself says esterbrook 1858 and then ferris will press at the bottom it's engraved into the nib again you have the beautiful oh my god look at, look at that shimmer you guys jesus very beautiful pen and then on the pen clip itself I don't know if it's supposed to look like that. I'm pretty sure it is, though. Let me see if I can wipe that off really quick. On the pen clip, if I can get this to focus. All right, nice, we do. You have detailing in it. I think this would have been a lot nicer if it would have been engraved. I'm not entirely sure what's going on right here, but it doesn't look as nice as it did in some of the pictures, but it's a really nice detail all in all. Ooh, there you go. Like the camera doesn't know where to focus on. Ooh. But there we go. There you see it. Which I think is a really beautiful touch considering the theme of the pen itself. As always, Esther pens come with the converter inside, as do the Ferris wheel, Ferris wheel brook, <laughs> the Ferris wheel press. And I'm just too excited right now, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this in. I don't know what I want to ink it up with just yet. I haven't inked any of my Esther book pens with a uh, shimmery ink. So I'm not going to be, um, you know, putting the ink that it was, was made for this pen, I guess, in it just yet. We might ink this in a separate video. This is just more so we can admire the beauty that is this beautiful pen. So as promised, we're going to go ahead and get a bit of a swatch card right here. And we're going to swap it. And by swap it, I mean swatch it. We'll always give it like a quick one, two shake so that you can get the shimmer moving in there. And we're going to go ahead. I always like dropping like a little bit more ink in certain areas to kind of see what it it's gonna look like. We're gonna let that dry and I'm gonna bring it up close for you guys. Alrighty then, and we are back. This has had more than enough time to dry. And as you guys can see right there, you get a lot of shift in the ink. It has like a blue kind of similar to this blue a base like a royal blue base with what i would call purple sheening and would it be considered iridescent or just multicolored like shimmer you have like a purple like pink shimmer as you guys can see right here kind of like a purple champagne shimmer i guess we can say and it is stunning. It matches the pen very nicely, but like I said, I'm still not comfortable inking my Esther Bricks with a glistening ink. If not, this would definitely go into that pen. 
but yes you guys that is it i will probably do some close-up shots at the end for you guys just so you guys can get a better look at the glistening effect of this beautiful pen i am so glad that i caved and added it to my collection it is a stun. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you guys would like to see more unboxings in the future, please let me know. I do like to, you know, grow my collection. Whenever there's new releases, especially for Trisbees, I do like to get the pens. So just let me know. Other than that, you guys, thank you guys again. I'm just so excited. I can't get over how beautiful this pen is. A stunner for sure. But all right, all right. I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to let you guys go about your day. Bye.